Hi guys, welcome back. So we're back on our 6040 machine and it's time for an upgrade. So the thing I've noticed about the machine, well all the 6040 owners know that the the rails that it rides on is a flex point. Well I found another flex point. The problem being some of the 6040s I've seen online have the spindle clamp mounted here and on this one it's lower well the nut is driving this the z-axis here but yet my clamp is down here so we have this um, mechanical advantage because the spindle is so far down from the uh, ball screw nut so I think what I want to do is take the spindle clamp and move it to here and cut this material off and uh, what that's going to do is you know I've still got enough of the spindle that I could take down to make up for the clearance but if I bring this up here the distance between the spindle or the bit and where the nut is driving and where the rods are riding will be decreased It'll still have flex, but it won't have as much mechanical advantage in it. So, that's what we're going to do today. Okay, and there we go. Okay, I'm back from the shop. And this piece got cut off. I originally was trying to use this hole, but it lined this hole up with there, so I had to actually <clears throat> these were the two holes that it was in. So what I did is I moved it up to that hole and just drill and tap two holes. Then there's the counter bores for the screws. So we can bolt that right up and be good to go.
tell and show you that really I need to do this one first because I need to put shims under here. If you'll watch. Since it's going plus, our spindle is sitting this way, so we need to put some shims under the bottom to kick it out. I'm going to take the uh, probably either notebook paper or the back side of that uh, two sided tape and stick here just to, for a shim. I'm not going to make you guys wait through all that, I'll just bring you back when it's all done. Okay, I want to show you something that I just did. So I started out with the double stick tape shimmed and uh, it went too far and the notebook paper went the other way. It just didn't seem right. So I tried moving the shim up and down. So I said, screw it. I flipped the clamp 180 degrees. And now, That's like too foul. Alright, too foul. We'll go over here again. Okay, we'll call that zero. Now let's uh let's try it. I'm going to call that done. 5,000 over 4,000. Yeah, 5,000 over 4 inches. This machine isn't that accurate. Make sure we're good and snug. And then we'll run it one more time. And that's still the snug from when we did when we read it this way. So now we'll go down. A little rapid. Hey, three thou? I'll take it. So there you go. That's how you make sure your spindle travel is correct. So I was going to show you again. Uh, this is the... That's the uh, unsupported rods back here moving. And push them back here. So that's why it's important to upgrade these machines. That's an upgrade coming. We'll do a back plate and supported rails. But for right now, I wanted to get this guy up to try to see if I can improve the cut. All right. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you like what you see, then uh, hit the little subscribe button down here. Maybe click the bell for notifications. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.